Hey everyone, welcome to the show, my so-called fabulous. I'm Tiffany. Welcome everyone. Welcome back. And wow, I mean, I think I've made it, y'all. I have a woman in the studio today that is in on the show for the fourth time. You heard it right there. She's back on the fourth time. She's back. A lot of twisting of the elbow over here to the arm to get her act. So everyone, welcome back to the show. Bonnie Smith was shot with Bonnie, and now we're calling this the SWB Agency. So welcome back, Bonnie. Thank you, Tiffy. I'm so excited to chat with you. Oh my goodness. You. I love you so much. Let's just put it out there. Yeah. I've said that for years and years and years. Bonnie is not only my stylist and brings so much to light into the style of my so-called fabulous for years and years. And um, she's given me such a different insight on fashion. And you know, I love fashion so much. That's one of our pillars. But Bonnie is here today because I'm like, girl, come back. Bonnie was on. Y'all get this. This yeah. is, I mean, we we are around 180. I'm not sure exactly the number right now. But um, Bonnie was with us. Maximize your style. Minimize your efforts as a stylist. Yeah, number fifty-seven, y'all. That was the first year of well, or something like that. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Then Bonnie shared with us in episode number seventy-eight um, a very personal, transparent um, type t time of her life. It was the podcast was called Good Grief. Yes. And Bo Bonnie lost someone very special in her life, and she explains all that. And you were very transparent. We kind of moved away from fashion on that. Mm -hmm. And we, did. we talked about transparency and. Well, you're really good at that. You know, you're the transparency that you bring to the table is inspiring to others. Thanks. So I was, I was grateful to share the things I went through during such a horrible time and how I got through it. So yes. just like anything else, we can, yeah, you know, persevere. You know, and Bonnie, the number of people that listen and learn and tell me that that this podcast does make an impact on their life, and you sharing your grief and losing your husband was was huge. So was. thank you for that. And of then course. Bonnie and I did with Neiman Marcus. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh! In 2023, spring fashion at Neiman Marcus at episode number 109, we actually had a live fashion show and it was fabulous i mean it was it was so gone back and listened to that again so too you great. can almost visualize what we're talking yeah. about i loved it yeah you know we we did this podcast where um we're in neiman marcus the cafe everyone's enjoying wine champagne and and just having a great time and you are talking about curated fashion that you actually curated in the store yes it's great yes so what is <laughs> so what, what does bonnie do like i said she's an amazing stylist and if you go Go back and listen to each of these. You'll learn a little bit more about Bonnie. But Bonnie um, is a fashionista. She loves fashion. She she does many things for us. I talked to you about it with my show, with my uh, platform. But Bonnie, one of the things that really impacts me the most is the curated style. Going into my closet, switching seasons curating styles, nudging me, sometimes pushing me over the edge to purge. So we're going to talk about all that. Oh, so yes. Bonnie, tell us, you started many, many years ago. I did. 2005. 2005. Yes. And in, in our first episode, I talk about how I got started in the business from retail to um, starting my, my first business in 2009 and all the ups and downs and evolution that's come from that it's been really it's been a huge journey mm -hmm. so i mean it's there's a lot to tell but right. i can't even squeeze it into this whole episode but today i'm really excited to answer questions you have that your listeners would want to know as if we're all friends and i'm stepping inside your closet and you're taking a look at what you have and what you can do with your own style absolutely now before we get there, because you did send me some questions, and I appreciate that. We send out polls often on Instagram and Facebook, and you did send me your questions. So thank you for doing that, you all. Bonnie, if you can tell us what your agency does, because when I met you, you were a one-man show. Oh, one <laughs> <laughs> one and then some yes, yes. exactly so yes tell a lot now. has changed tell me i mean we're going to talk about the change of fashion but let's talk about the change of your business the change of the business has been remarkable we have we have really expanded and the the team has grown the resources have grown so back in when we last spoke uh from that first episode 
it was Shop with Bonnie. And that was the business. It was just me. And after so much growth and change, I have now built up an entire style team. And we're serving things in the editorial spectrum. We are serving private wardrobes. We're doing men's. We're doing women's. We're doing red carpet, celebrity you name it, we're able to offer it under one umbrella called the SWB Agency, which for my namesake, Shop with Bonnie Agency. You know, when you when you started, you were inspired through fashion, yes. working at Neiman Marcus oh, yes. and going through the highs and lows of that and yes. sales floor. And yes. my goodness, as a personal stylist, how has how has style changed? How has the evolution of style? Because you know, we talk about trends and everything. Mm. How has a stylist job changed? A stylist job has changed dramatically. I, I was telling um, Chris um, <laughs> that, honestly, there used to be a very small pool of people that were wardrobe stylists. I had, I don't consider um, it you know, a, a competition per se, because I think everyone offers their own flavor and their own abilities, but it was a very small pool. Mm -hmm. Now we are swimming in a really large arena of people that are promoting themselves as a wardrobe stylist, as a personal shopper, as an organizer. There's a lot of things that have been built around wardrobe services. I've really noticed it more so in the last three to four years. So now I have like a lot of people around me that are doing what I do, which I actually love. Right. I think we, there's plenty of people to serve. Absolutely. And there's so many facets of fashion um, that can truly bring value to someone. So it has changed in the fact that there's, it's more, it's, it's a little more common for people to work with a stylist. And style in general has changed a lot in the last five years. People have really honed in on what they love and what they love is comfort. Mm -hmm. What they love is versatility. What they love is to see what they buy is valuable. Right. And admired. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot that goes into the psychology behind our style, which we can dig into at some point. But right. there's a lot of feeling that goes into it. So and there is a lot of feeling. I would say I would say that the expressiveness has changed. It's a lot less cookie cutter than she used to be. Unlock style clarity like never before with the help of the SWB agency founded by stylist Bonnie Smith. They offer services both in person and online using their fully virtual platform. Here you learn to love your wardrobe again. Develop your style and shop curated pieces from your very own stylist. I've used the SWB agency for years and I cannot describe how great it is to have fully styled outfits available and ready in a snap. For more information, visit www.theswbagency.com. Again, that's www.theswbagency.com. Link is also included in the show notes. The services you offer, I love y'all, the service that she offers, that she comes in and she switches the closet for season. Mm -hmm. What are those seasons? Share with everyone what those sh seasons should be like, I mean, or what the months compare with yes. the seasons. Every closet is different. So in your case, we want to keep a curated set of spring, summer, and we want to put fall winter in another place that so that you're not getting decision fatigue. You have a very beautiful, extensive wardrobe. We don't need fall heavy dresses hanging next to spring dresses so that you're doing so much digging. So closet curation and organization is part of our services that you can subscribe to if you do if you want to manage that yourself. We don't have to. Closet editing, you know, you know, your favorite. Oh, <laughs> y'all. I, I mean, I mean, and Bonnie and I have worked together many years and, and I'm, I'm still holding on to shoes. And this March, at the beginning of March mm -hmm. of 2024, mm -hmm. she came into my house and I went, 
this is going. And she she almost fell out of her I did. <laughs> jaw on floor. When you're excited to let go of something, I, I'm just staying quiet and but going you, with it. But, but Bonnie, it's the psychology, you just, talk, you, there it is. The I feel guilty for getting yes. rid of things. I understand. You know what I mean? I understand. And our colleague, Nikki, she is so great. She yes. said, my, she said, it's not trash, but what I purged could be someone's treasure. Mm -hmm. And that makes my heart so full, whether I'm selling it, which I'm not always sold mm -hmm. or donating and donating makes my heart full. Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Well, it's just, I call it the circle of life. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the circle of fashion life. Right. There's such a movement of sustainability. Mm -hmm. A lot people are shopping secondhand more than they've ever shopped wow. designer consignment. So there really is a need to not hoard. I mean, unless you're just someone that has a giant 2000 square foot closet, like there's just no need. There's no need to have all of it. And you really should keep it pared down to what brings you the most joy, what gets the most wear. Right, right. So when you met me, we we know each other through social media and we did before you and I met many years ago. Let's say, and you knew my style. Yes. I mean, it, yes. yes. Well, everyone's closet tells me a story. Right, so, right. I mean, you can really, you can really look at someone the way they present themselves and gather a lot of information. So let's say someone, when they, when they reach out to you after this podcast and you do not know this person mm -hmm. at all, okay, mm -hmm. um, whether you go into that closet in person or can you do that virtually? Oh. We can do everything okay. virtually now. But how do you know what their style is without, let's say they don't have an Instagram. Yeah. They don't have an Instagram. I will spend 30 minutes doing a Zoom consult. We can hop on FaceTime. Um, we ask that anyone inquiring services goes to our website, which is shopwithbonnie.com, does a contact form. We set up a consultation for you and we just talk. We have you walk us into your closet. Um, maybe beforehand, you go take a few videos of like kind of how you have things arranged. You may send us a couple of photos of yourself. I'll usually ask someone new, like, send me a photo of something you recently wore that you felt amazing in. And so there's a lot of information you can gather by just looking and just listening. Okay. So, All right. So yeah. looking and listening for sure. Mm -hmm. And um, we mentioned virtual. Yes. Tell us about your virtual opportunities oh, with it's people. An, it's, an, it's amazing. <laughs> It's amazing. We have the coolest virtual platform so that our agency can provide services to anyone in the world at any time. It's basically like having a stylist in your pocket. We help you navigate your wardrobe. There is a there is a curve to it in a positive way because you're going to have to have your hands on your own things. But we're going to walk you through it. We're going to help you make decisions. We're going to show you things online, share our screen, looking at things, curating looks. Our, our platform allows you to upload pieces from your very own wardrobe and say, what do I do with this? Mm. Sen sends us actual pictures. We categorize those pictures. You get to create your own little virtual closet on your platform, uh, on your profile. And we manage it for you. And we, like a puzzle, mix and match pieces of photos you've uploaded into outfits. Right. It's That's very user-friendly. It's very intuitive. We're able to link recommended items. It, it's fully functional. You can be anywhere in the world and work with us. Wow. Yes. And hey, I have known this woman to hop on a plane too. So Oh, that. yes. <laughs> You've done that a few yes, times. Yes, I do. I, I do. I, I lean towards in-person services. Yes, of course. We have the capabilities to do virtual and I'm absolutely on board and I do utilize it. Mm -hmm. But I, at this stage, have a lot of clients that delegate quite a bit and so the the virtual app is it really designed for someone with that high of volume right. right you know and that's a great it'd idea. be hard to keep up but, absolutely yeah but but the beautiful thing about virtual tiffy is you can use it a lot or you can use it a little mm -hmm. you can purchase a package of hours use them up and then take a nice little break or you can keep 
Wow. Renewing, it, it's, it doesn't go anywhere. Right. It doesn't cost you anything to keep your profile and access what the work we've done. And right. so, and it's an introdu introductory cost of $600. Wow. 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 A lot of value goes into that. A lot of value. It, it brings more value to what you own, what you let us help you with. Right. So it's very cool. I love it. So let's talk about, um, are all your clients, are all uh, with the SWB agency, luxury clients? For example, let's say you have clients on a low budget, mm -hmm. medium budget, mm -hmm. uh, on up to luxury. Mm -hmm. How can you facilitate and accommodate the different budgets? Absolutely. I don't like to be dishonest when I say we are a luxury service. We are absolutely a luxury, just like having an interior designer, just like having a personal trainer. These are all luxuries. Right. This is a, an expert guiding your process. And so um, what I can say about the agency, and since we've added Aaron, since we have Whitney, we actually have our very own tailor that comes and, and does tailoring and alterations, delivers right to your door. It's, it's incredible. So we have a very wide variety. We have people that have a very specific budget, and we will work with your budget. The hours that you use towards your services still apply the same, whether we're shopping any specific brand. I will personally say my clients t tend to lean to more of a designer luxury level, and there's a heavy turnover of items, so we're we're always adding new, we're always subtracting. So right, mm -hmm. and I love that because um, having luxury items and the the ability to pass those on or sell those are great. It is great. Do I get what I pay for it? No, but I do get to use them and again Something. pass them on to someone, and maybe I'm purchasing someone else. Absolutely. You know, I, I love that sustainability. Yeah. I've purchased several of your clients. I know you it. Know, I you know. know. So that's that's mm -hmm. great. Okay, what are your feelings? And I know the answer to this, but I'm going to ask her. Anyway. I love that you're asking anyways. <laughs> um, what do you think about, let's say, putting um, moderate price items mm -hmm. to low with luxury designer fashion? I love mixing a high and low. That That's really the world we live in. I mean, we have anything from, you know, Yes, there's fast fashion brands, but I really don't like to think of it that way. I like to think of it more of a mixing a look that's aesthetically pleasing to your lifestyle. I really don't want a woman that's running around with children to be in silk every day. We need to have wearable garments. We need to have things that if it absolutely got a stain on it, we wouldn't throw ourselves in the floor. So you just really can't, you really can't, um, limit yourself right. to just one category of designer or contemporary or street. So mix it in. Yeah, absolutely. Y'all have to tell quick stories though. <laughs> Several years ago. So part of my pillar is I'm, I'm a chef, so I'm in the kitchen and I'm doing a reel or at the time there weren't reels, but um, I had a silk blouse on and I, and I, a, a salad dressing or something mm -hmm. slashed up and I said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, Bonnie. And of course, Bonnie goes, why are you wearing a silk blouse? <laughs> making a salad yeah <laughs> why would you do that so see she answers my questions all yes. the time of course I knew that but it looked good on camera y'all well I mean if you know me you know I love to come up with sets of rules for each client mm -hmm. because I like to keep you moving in a positive direction so that was one of your rules is we don't wear silks in the kitchen so <laughs> the people the people um, I know that now uh the people that are listening to this that say I can't afford this I just can't I sure. can't do it sure tell them what you've told me before about um going shopping mm -hmm. okay a lot of times guys okay everyone knows I had explant surgery mm -hmm. um I'm, it's going to be four it's four months now or so um Bonnie encouraged me not to purchase items for almost two seasons because you and I both knew Bonnie's gone through this too. Yep. So, absolutely. Um to not purchase items. Mm -hmm. So you took items in my clo closet mm -hmm. and just reinvented them. And so what I love everyone, she comes over and she has it looks like a shade that she just it's a it white does. shade. It does because I don't put pretty things on the floor, even at your 
clean floors. It's just don't do that. that doesn't work for don't me. Do that. So she um, she takes an item I've had for years. Um, I love Tory Burch, so she took a Tory Burch and reinvented it because yes. we get stuck. Yes, we do. Right? People traditionally wear one item the same way. The same and as someone that keeps such a close watch on fashion, I'm able to reinvent the way you wear an item to make it new again. Right. We don't always have to shop. In right. fact, several of my clients take shopping breaks and just lean into services to reinvent their pretty things. It's yeah, it's fine. So for the affordability mm -hmm. is a lot of times before Bonnie, BB, <laughs> I would go and shop at an event for an event and just panicking and go into the shop into the store and just pick up something because I needed something yes multiple times you have shared with me Tippy. you have plenty you don't need to buy yes. anything yes unless it's Greg's birthday party or special a game. things yeah. it's yeah. fine and if you want new have new I'm well, sure there's, I'm not against shopping my no. goodness like <laughs> shop with shop Bonnie, with Bonnie. <laughs> we I mean if you're elevating your look we we shop that's sure. a given right but, but yes, yeah. I did tell you, yeah. you don't need that. Yes. There's other categories that need attention. Mm -hmm. Like don't buy more event dresses. Right. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so I appreciate that. But a lot of times I would just go to this, to a, to a, a big box store on the internet and just pr purchase. Mm -hmm. And so here I have something, I keep something and keep the tags on for a very long time, thinking that years later I can return it, which is so far since I'm just kidding. Yeah. But <laughs> I was like, are you ever going to take these price tags off? No. Right? No. But exactly. So when you, when, when Bonnie explained that to me, I knew that Okay, that makes sense. Yes. I didn't spend five hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, a thousand, five thousand, yes. whatever the case yes. may be, and I could put it into you, and you could come into my closet and go, "Yeah, here you go." Yeah, we're gonna we're going to extract more value out of what's hanging in there already. Right. I mean, you may have paid two. Say you paid two hundred dollars for a blouse. You're wearing it the exact same way over and over. It looks like rinse and repeat. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take the blouse. We're going to lower that price per wear on that $200 to reinvent the way you're wearing it. And then that makes it more valuable to you. Mm -hmm. And it makes it not feel old to you. You're not right. tired of it. Right. right. So that's just part of keeping a watch on current trend, current styling, body shapes, um, everything that, you know, fashion runs so ahead of the curve. So. Right. You know, that's what that's what you're paying an expert for. Exactly, exactly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sh I'm gonna throw out here at one of my listener followers, closet staples. Bonnie, what are four basic items that you think everyone should have in their closet? And this is every price point. I love this. This is a great question. I'm going to give four things I think for women. Um, a black or a navy blazer. I suggest it be single breasted. I suggest that it be maybe hip length. Um, that's a, your most timeless uh, piece. Also, a good straight leg clean denim. Skinny skinny jeans aren't out. They're still making them. Wide leg jeans are very trending. Uh, Everywhere, flare is going strong right now, but a straight leg jean has the ability to dress down or dress up. So a, a good, clean, straight leg denim, a very well-fitting black dress. Could be a little on the sexy side if you're young, a sexy side if you're not young. It could be conservative. It, that, that black dress needs to depict your personality. You can ramp it up or make it as timeless as you like. Short, short, whatever, yeah. short or uh, what, long, whatever. whatever it is. Okay. Just have, have one that looks current and looks amazing on your body. Um, the little black dress. And lastly, I feel for women, a structured handbag. There's an ability to look tidy. Even if you're wearing a very loose button down and jeans and a cute little sandal, when you put on a structured shaped bag, you know, something that stands on its own and doesn't collapse on the floor. A structured bag will give the essence of, of tidiness. So you can even have your casual separates with a nice structured bag. And for some reason, 
it elevates your look instantly. Wow. And the investment stays. Okay. Because bags. And the bags, you can spend a lot of money or you can spend a lot of not much. You can find a structured bag at Dillard's. You can find one at pretty much any brand that you like at any price point. I would say go for a quality leather if you can or a vegan leather if you prefer that. Um, Something that you could see yourself carrying mostly during the day. I mean, you don't want to carry a huge bag to dinner necessarily. No, y'all. But but something pretty, something that stands up on its own and you can, you know, manage your life in it. Yes. And y'all, I I see four good tote bags at a gala. I almost, I know, Mm -hmm. whether face, y'all. You see it on YouTube right now. Pass. I know. (laughs) I know. We need a whole episode of things called things. Pause. Oh, pause. I mean, I literally could spend 30 minutes on that. But that's, you know. Let's do that in the fall. We should. I know. What not to do. What not to do. I will save some lives. I promise. I promise. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Speaking of some things not to do, how do you address someone that is not dressing to their body type? Well, I have a very key phrase called not my favorite. (laughs) This is true. (laughs) I've heard it. I'm I'm not in the business of telling someone you look bad in in that it's just we're inundated with options now. We have so many resources. Our agency personally has over 50 affiliate brands that loan us things for our clients to try on at home. Try before you buy. You have lots of options. So I like that we're picky. So when I see someone that's dressing out of their body shape and I'm noticing, I usually say, not my favorite, and I pivot. That's my job. You don't even need to worry about the next step. Once I see this style on you, there's another option waiting in the wing and we move to that. And once I see that client really light up, once they look, there's a certain look that happens and Mm -hmm. they get it and they love it. And that's what I play off of. And I've seen uh, women and men that, um, a gorgeous dress yes. or a gorgeous outfit mm. just doesn't yeah. get it done with yeah. the body type. Absolutely. And it doesn't mean that they're heavy or skinny no. or whatever. No, it's not case. about weight. It's nope. not about mm-hmm. attributes necessarily. And at the same turn, Tiffy, I think that like dressing to your authenticity and your own personality is equally as important. Well, sure. You'll notice mm-hmm. your looks have your personality embedded in them Mm -hmm. like you bring an a certain energy just by walking in with your outfit it kind of dictates who you are Mm -hmm. and and all the things that are you and so that's what i like to see in our clients i like to see your personality and you want to feel like you're spending on things that you're not going to get tired of because they're you and y'all I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this because I do have someone in my life that um, she will say to me, "Wow, Tiffy, you are so colorful." Because I wear color. I don't have it on right now. There's oh. some green in here, so oh, yeah. But I do love color. You yes. can see it in my home. Absolutely, you see it in my. It's part of she you. wears black, beige, and white. Mm-hmm. Period. End mm-hmm. of story. Fine. It's because everybody, like you said at the beginning of the show. Mm-hmm. It's their personality, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And I'm just a colorful kind of girl. You are. <laughs> you are. You are. I know. And we could also do a separate pod on how to give a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do that in the fall, That's y'all. It's going to also be in the fall <laughs> TV thing. I hear you. <laughs> so um, there's another question here, and it says, lately, and they said, especially lately, it seems like there's a new trend every time we turn around, mm-hmm. but there's trends all the time, all right? The time. Um, how can we manage these changing trends and buy into them slash look current without breaking the bank? Love this question. I mean, this is this is something I want to answer to every single client. I would say, first of all, that you want to view trends as a choice because we don't have to subscribe to every single thing we see. What you should be asking when you see a trend, a certain style jean, a certain color, a certain bag, shoe, whatever it is, you should ask yourself, does that apply to me? Does that apply to my lifestyle? I like to ask the question, where is she going or where is he going? If I'm looking at a dress or an item, I'm trying to figure out, does that match how I'm living my life? 
Do what value does it bring to my wardrobe? Do I have something similar? Like ask lots of questions Mm -hmm. and know that whatever you spend on a trend item is going to be a disposable purchase. Right. Make sure that if you do buy a trend item, you buy it designer so that you can turn it around and let it loose and get some money back and let it move on. Um, I would I would say just be conscious yeah. of does it apply to you and be bold enough to say no to a trend. Right. You know? Mm-hmm. Advocate. Right. <laughs> Advocate. <laughs> Advocate. Don't say yes to everything. Bonnie, one of the things I love to do is, y'all, I mean, I love to go on trips, but I highly dislike packing and I highly dislike unpacking. I just, goodness yeah. gracious. Yeah. You pack people to go on trips. Yes. Well, Oof. oh my gosh. <laughs> I just heard Kennedy. <laughs> right. Um, that is one of our most requested services because the umbrella of services we offer are our styling, our closets, closet purges and edits, um, shopping, everything under the sun, but styling and packing service streamlines what goes in your luggage and it really helps you to utilize each and every piece. We request that you send us your itinerary before we start that service. We analyze where you're going, what the temperatures are, what venues you're going to, do they have dress codes. We do all the legwork. And if we need to meet and purchase some things prior to a trip, we do that as well. And then we actually create each photograph of every look you wear. Day one, this for day. Day one, this for evening. Day two, this for day. You can wear it also to dinner. Like we ma- we match your things to your itinerary. It's phenomenal. And we'll even come and unpack it if you really just need that. I don't mind. And she (laughs) takes pictures of every look. Yeah. Yeah. Everything has a photograph. You have an album. You have an album. Now we have the now we have the virtual platform. So you're able to utilize that on your you can see your looks on your iPhone, your iPad, whatever device. You just keep up. Well, Bonnie, I think you're fabulous. Thank I love you, you, friends. You know that. I you love know, coming to visit with you. I just adore it. And, you know, women in your life that support each other. This woman has supported me through the highs and lows and starting my business and mm-hmm. me wanting to shut down my business and telling me to keep going. And we do that for each other. Better so keep going. You. <laughs> You're doing amazing things. And you. I love and you. you. All right. Tell us how we all can find you. It'll be in the show notes, y'all. But It will be in the show notes, but... Um, everyone knows I love sharing on Instagram. You can follow me at Shop with Bonnie. You can follow my associate stylist at Shop with Aaron, A Y R O N. You can also follow our agency page for updates. It's the underscore S W B agency. So I would say Instagram. You can also reach us to contact and request a consultation at www.shopwithbonnie.com. Wonderful. Yes. Shop, pack, edit, style, virtual, you name it. You name it. We've got you covered. we got you. Just to sit down and have coffee or tea as well. Absolutely. It's a great time. It is. Fashion friends. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Well, everyone, thank you so much for listening today and following along. And, you know, give her a call or just go check her out if you're not familiar because what a beautiful Instagram she has. And and I promise you... um, what a change in your life you will have. So everyone, thank you again. And you know what I say, keep being fabulous.